pictures today look very different from those of 10, 20, or 100 years ago. And I can sum it up in one word, Valencia. Yes, filters in our photo apps have blurred the way we say we see the world. But a long time ago, before you could change your pics with a swipe, photos had one filter, and it was called Tintype. Everybody snaps pics these days, but that wasn't the case in the early 1800s. Photography had only recently been born. Photography used to be very rare. Very few people had images of themselves. The first practical photography was daguerreotypes, but they were a little more expensive and were not available to everyone. The daguerreotype was invented by French artist Louis Daguerre, and it remained the photographic standard for many years. In 1856, tintypes were introduced, and more people could afford to have images of themselves. They were so inexpensive that not only did people do portraits, but they could also take some playful shots as well. The Henry Ford's curator of domestic life, Jeannie Miller, showed me an old-fashioned tintype studio in the museum's Greenfield Village. This is a tintype camera. And what tintype did, it democratized photography because now just about anybody could afford to have their tintype taken. Why? Because materials were cheaper, it was a faster process and more durable. Tintypes were not made out of tin, but rather a thin iron plate coated with a black enamel called Japan on which a negative photographic image could be captured. Can you describe the, um, the process and the materials? The photographer would usually pose his sitters, and because people had to stay still for anywhere from maybe 6 to 10 to 30 seconds, you would be placed in the headrest. Then he would focus the camera. He would then go into the dark room, prepare the plate with some chemicals. Put that in a special case, carry it out to the camera, put it in, and then take the plate out to expose the negative when the lens on the camera was taken off. Then you covered it up, took the plate out, back in the dark room, and in just a few minutes, your sitter would be walking out of the tintype studio with their tintype in hand. Tintypes were so popular, young men had their pictures taken before heading off to fight in the Civil War. They were used for the first time in presidential politics during the 1860 campaign. Yes, that's an authentic tintype of Abraham Lincoln. Did people ever get tintypes of their pets? They did. Tintypes were cheap enough, you could even have your pet photographed. I'd like to see a tintype of an early celebrity dog, and it would be called a... Rin Tin Tintype. Excellent, very good. She's good.